So I'm here with uh, Kabat Ruto from uh, Kenya, who's residing in Canada for now, and uh, we're at the Good Life Fitness Victoria Marathon, and he'll be racing in that half marathon Sunday morning. So uh, welcome to Victoria, Kabat. Yeah, thanks very much. I appreciate that. Um, I think you were saying earlier you're looking to run about a 62-minute half marathon tomorrow. Yeah, I'm looking for a 62, 63 pace, something like that. So that's what I'm going to give a shot and see if we can go for the course record, depending <laughs> with the weather. And uh, we just give a shot and see what's going on. The course record is 62.31. And uh, I've done 62 and I know the pace, how it feels like. And uh, we're going to give a shot and see what's going on. What is that uh, pace per kilometer? That's sub, sub three, sub three minutes per kilometer. Like 250, something like that. I'm pretty excited. Well, they say it's a fast course too. It's a nice weather in Victoria and uh, I'm looking forward for that. Yeah, I've been training quite good. My training has been, it's been great. Doing like uh, cross country is like for tune up, like for my speed. Like every every two weeks, I had a couple of cross country that was done in uh, Red Deer. I did an 8K there, 25 minutes. Last weekend I was doing another 8K, I did like 24 minutes. So my speed is quite good and uh, my mileage has been good too. Good, so when you talk about your mileage is good or your training is good, what kind of volume of uh, uh, I've been doing like, because uh, I've been like racing, I like uh, put it down, I was doing like 100 and uh, added, added and 10, 100 kilometers a week. Miles? So, no, kilometers. Kilometers. Okay. Yeah, just kilometers, yeah. And do you count easy running? Or is uh, that just training? Easy running? No, I don't count easy running. You don't easy count running? Easy just running? like, yeah, just like jog, like 40 minutes, I don't count that, so. Okay, yeah. so if you're not counting the easy stuff, how much total volume are you doing a week? Uh, let's say 150, yeah. something like that, so, yeah. Okay, good it's stuff. Decent, yeah. Good, so the best in the half marathon is 62. 62 which, high, yeah. Good, so around this area, we know that you've run really well at the Vancouver Sunrun. You ran 29 high, 20, I think, yeah. there? Yeah, I did 29, yeah. And that's somewhere around your personal best as well for uh, the 10K road race? No, really, like at 29, I wasn't happy like doing 29. My personal best is like 28, 28. 20. Oh, okay. For the 10K. 20, that 20. was in Ottawa. And uh, that's like, my, I want to get back to the shape, like 28 and stuff. So, like, doing 29, I just feel like, oh, you know, I'm still way back to my PB. And I feel like I need a lot of work to do. And uh, But I've been struggling with injuries. And stuff, but I'm coming back now from injury. And it's going to get smart. Get back into real training and stuff. Like, get rid of races and, like, push back with the fast times again. Yeah. So you're injury free right now? Injury free right now. Okay. Very good, yeah. Well, good luck. Uh, good luck in the half marathon. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate. It. Thank you. My main goal was to do like 63 minutes, like for the half, and uh, it was actually good because the way we started it, it was we started fast. I think sub three. Then the second K was a little bit slow. I think three. 319 pocket. Then I asked my friend Willie like what was the pace of that because I didn't have my GPS on. So he told me like it's 319. Then I was like, no, that's too slow. So we like to take the pace right from there, like back to three, three, three minutes pocket. We ran with these guys to five, five K, and the five K was around 15, I think 15 or 14.57. So I knew like we we're right on right on time because I knew like this is now three minutes. After 6k nobody was able to keep up with my pace and that's the time I started to took off and I kept on like nailing all the miles, all the kilometers like 3k, 3k, and 10k I was around 30, 30 minutes so I was like yeah I know everything is good now. And after about 6k you're totally alone? Yeah I was totally alone yeah. Okay and then who was with you up until 6k? Jeff Martin? Yeah, Jeff Martin was there and uh, we took Jeff Martin at I think five after five k, but pretty close to six k was Willie and Duncan, so okay. we were pretty close. Yeah, and uh, after six k, I was by myself. Then I just rolled down. And so uh, when you're coming back and you hit that mile zero where the where there's that statue of Terry Fox, yeah, um, did you take advantage of that long downhill? Three uh, k to go, I think, was the point. Yeah, three k. I don't think so because I had like an even pace. What do you think you would have uh, done then if? You consider it, say, perhaps this race to be your uh, most important race of the season. What do you yeah. think you would have run then? Uh, if I was by myself, we would have run 63. But if we had like, a good competition, 
would have gone for 60 total. So, yeah. so when you say you're running uh, Scotia Bank, you're pacing uh, some marathoners then, are you? Yeah, I'll be pacing the marathoners, yeah. And that's the Scotia Bank Toronto Waterfront Marathon next uh, we'll next week in uh, Toronto, yeah, of course. Yeah, October 14th, yeah. October 14th? Yeah. That's exciting. Well, you have some countrymen in that uh, race. Yeah, a couple of friends, a couple of training mates back home, so I'm excited to see them there. And uh, it'll be nice to be in the same race, you know. They're more experienced than me, and so I'll be the one pacing them. Uh, it's more exciting. That's great. How far are you going to pace them? Until? I'm going to do 25 plus, maybe, depending on how I feel. So, yeah. 25 plus miles? 25 plus kilometers. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs>